Hello everyone, this is Hammertron here with a new action figure review for you. This time I am reviewing Firefly from G.I. Joe. Oh, no, wait a minute. This is not Firefly from G.I. Joe. This is Havoc from Fortnite Legendary Series 6-inch action figure. When I first saw this in the store, first thing I thought was Firefly, the Cobra Saboteur from the G.I. Joe cartoon. And there's also a 4-inch version of Havoc from Fortnite that also looks like Firefly. So every time I see it, the first thing I think is Firefly, but nope, this is Havoc. So when I first saw this, I was impressed. And this was before the G.I. Joe Classified 6-inch action figure series came out, or before anyone even heard of it. So after seeing this, I thought, wow... G.I. Joe could be made into 6-inch action figures. So, here is the front of the box. Nice window box. We see the action figure and the accessories. Looks very nice. There is the top of the box. There is the bottom of the box. Here is one side. And here is the other side. And here's the back. Striking fear into the opposition. And here's the cross cell with the other action figures from series one of this Fortnite series. So this was out in the stores in 2019 and I bought it because I wanted to have a nice six inch representation of Firefly. But I'm also happy to have this as Havoc from Fortnite. I will open this up and review the action figure in just a moment. Here are the accessories that come with the Havoc action figure. Here's an item, looks like from the game, although it could be used as a bomb. I'm not sure what it is because I don't actually play the game. So nicely detailed and painted, but no holes or anything. So I think we have to try to wedge it into the hand to get the action figure to hold it. Another handheld item, also nicely painted there, and a slot here where we can uh, wedge the fingers into it to hold it, although it takes a little bit of work to make sure that it stays in the hand of the action figure. Here's one of the faces, the human face. Looks nicely detailed. So the Jazzwares Fortnite Legendary Series um, changes the faces rather than the entire head, so that's an interesting idea. And here is a surprised masked face. Looks nice. We'll look at the other face when we look at the action figure itself. Here is what they call the back bling from the game. Very nicely detailed with some bombs attached to the backpack and we just plug it into the hole in the back and here is uh, some kind of military rifle looks like it's very nicely sculpted although there's not really any uh, painting on it but that's alright it looks good enough this way and it's a stiff, rigid plastic. That's good. And then here is the harvesting tool. So I like all the uh, attention to detail that they've put into this. Looks like it's nicely sculpted and they painted some of it. So it looks very nice. And yes, it's a little bit pliable, so we don't want to bend it too much. Here is Havoc from Fortnite in the Legendary Series by Jazzware. Let's take a look at how tall this action figure is. It looks like it is right about 6 inches tall. Almost exactly 6 inches tall. Maybe just a little bit less. Let's take a look at the uh, details here. Looks like 
a nice masked face. Now this is a distinctive look, so every time I look at this I keep thinking Firefly from G.I. Joe. But I can't think of any other character or action figure that had a gray camouflage masked face like this. So now this is probably the second one out of all the toys that have ever been made. So a very distinctive look. So that's the regular face. Looks pretty good there. And the head, the head looks like it's pretty good. And here's some nice belts and extra equipment sculpted onto the torso here. And some nice painting here. A little bit of silver paint for the buckles. And then black paint for the straps. And then a little bit of red and silver for some of the grenades and nice zipper so they put a lot of work into this and it looks like they made sure all the details were painted so that we could clearly see it then there's some nice knee pads here and then shiny black boots looks nice and some detail on the bottom of the feet there and there are the peg holes nice design on the shoulder there and some glossy bl black paint on the gloves nice paint designs there So a lot of gray camouflage and then some more straps on the back so it's been painted on all sides so it's very nice attention to detail let's take a look at the articulation so we can look a little bit up and look down just a little bit so uh, ah, we can look down more uh, the joint is ratcheted and then we can turn side to side and just a little bit of tilting and then the shoulders they go out this much we get um, not quite 60 unless we really push it out there's an extra shoulder piece here looks nice but it blocks a little bit of the articulation but we don't need to go all the way around no human being does that bicep swivel here and double jointed elbows looks nice And we can straighten that out. Looks good. Turn the wrists. And then a little bit of a hinge. And then actual finger articulation. So I wonder if that will wear out eventually and make it impossible to put anything in the hands of the action figure. But we will see. Then there's a diaphragm cut. We can bend back. Crunch forward just a little bit. Nice range of motion there. Mostly back. There's a little waist twist. And we can do the splits. Can we do the splits? A little bit stiff. Can we do this? No, well, this one seems to be a little bit stuck. I don't want to push too hard there. We'll check that out later. And then upper thigh cut here, both sides. We can kick forward. Kick back just a little bit. 
We have double jointed knees, very nice. And a boot cut. The ankles move down and up. A little pivoting. And then toe articulation. That is a lot of articulation. A lot more than I remember way back in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. So in just a moment we'll get this, gear, this guy geared up. Here's Havoc with his backpack or back bling on and uh, holding the rifle. It took a little work to get the arms and hands and fingers positioned just right to hold the rifle. So a little more work than uh, I expected even with all the extra articulation. It just takes a little practice but I think it looks nice. It would be great for a military type display or even a Fortnite display. Although I still don't know very much about the Fortnite game. But it certainly looks interesting with characters like this and the others that I've already reviewed. Here is the Hammertron rating. The Havoc action figure from the Fortnite Legendary series by Jazzware. I have him sitting on the handle of the sledgehammer. I wanted to put him sitting on top of the sledgehammer, but I still had a little trouble with the uh, hip joint there. I couldn't get enough motion out of that and I didn't want to push too hard. But this just looks so darn cool that I'd uh, rate this one more highly than, than many others based entirely on the looks. This Havoc action figure from the Fortnite Legendary series by Jazzwares based on the Fortnite game by Epic Games is a really awesome action figure. I just like how it looks. This would be great for any display with Fortnite characters or displays with G.I. Joe characters or military or war zone characters. It's a great addition for any of those displays just because of how it looks. A um, couple of points of concern. Just a little problem with the hip and the finger joints. I'm afraid the finger joints will wear out over time. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see. So thank you for watching my review video. Please like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with my future reviews. Until next time, goodbye everyone.